Hi, welcome to the Daddy Curbs Farm. Today we're going to be talking about potatoes and how we can get a little more out of the produce. Three or four days ago we had a meal of potatoes and I had cut them off just like you saw me at the beginning of the video where I cut a fresh potato. These potatoes are some that obviously they're starting to grow. We had a few too many in the bucket and they're starting to sprout. So we're cutting portions off that have a lot of eyes. We're eating the bulk of the potato with our meals, but we're setting these aside to plant to hopefully get a few more potatoes out of them. Now, when I had cut the fresh potato, I was trying to get a lot of the eyes on one side and enough flesh, enough meat to serve that potato as a seed. And once that's cut, we put it on the windowsill to where it can be exposed to the light and the air and it dries out and gets a nice crust over it. That crust is important because if you were to put that in the ground directly, there's a chance that that moist surface would cause it to rot underground. So this is gonna help it grow as a seed and prevent that mold or rot. Let's go out to the garden and see how we can plant these. Here in Texas, we're already a little bit past when potatoes should be planted. But here's my thought. If I threw this in the trash or to the chickens, it would just be gone. But if I take the time and plant it, I'm not really spending that much time or resources and I might actually get a few potatoes out of it. If I can even get just one potato out of each of these seeds, then that to me, it makes sense. It makes sense to grow an extra potato from a waste end. Now I know most of us wouldn't cut that much off to throw away, but it's not that much extra potato and I think I'm gonna get something out of it. In the bed behind me, I've already planted potatoes. These here are planted in the raised bed in the ground itself, covered with hay. And back here, these are planted in fabric pots. There's a few different planting methods that I've used. In this video, we're gonna plant these in some extra fabric pots that I had in the greenhouse. Now my method for planting potatoes is pretty simple. Most of the time with a fabric pot, I'll fold it halfway down. That just makes a shallower container. And I'll put several inches of soil on the bottom. And this just is a, an organic raised bed soil mix. In a fabric pot this size, I'll plant probably two. And I'll take it and put the crust side down and the eyes up because that's the way the plant wants to grow. And I'll just lay that right down on top, just like so. And then I'll take enough soil to just barely cover those up. Now that will be set aside and when that starts to grow, this is what a potato plant looks like when it starts to grow. Once I get three or four inches of growth from these potatoes that where the, the plant is growing up, I'll just take more soil and plant around it. And then eventually, a few weeks from now, I'll unfold the sides of this and I'll just keep adding soil until the pot fills up. The potato plant potentially will grow more potatoes as the stem grows up and it gets covered with soil. Now I happen to like the fabric pots because the potatoes grow really well in the bag and when it's time to harvest, you just dump them out. That way you don't have to be digging around in your raised bed with a fork or a shovel, potentially damaging the tubers. Alternatively, you could just cut this bag, a bag of soil, and plant them straight into the bag and never hill them up, never cover them, 
and you would still potentially get some potatoes from those scraps. Another method of planting is the green stalk. You could have one, two, three, four or five tiers tall and plant the potatoes in each of these deep pockets. I planted a few in this one a few days ago. I really like the green stock vertical growing system because you can grow a lot of food in a very small space. Perfect for people who don't have a lot of land or ground that they can use for a garden. It would work great on a deck or a balcony. I like to experiment with a lot of different growing methods and the green stock has proven to be a pretty decent way to grow food. If when you water them, you notice that the soil settles down and exposes the potato a little bit, just put a little extra soil on that. You really don't want the potato to be exposed to light. Now the last thing I'm going to do is add a little bit of mulch to the top of this to protect those potatoes from light. Also, the cats don't like to get in there where the mulch is as much as bare soil, so it helps keep them out as well. Also, it retains moisture in the soil. We're not putting too much mulch, just enough to help keep some of that moisture in and the light out. And hopefully the cat's out. If you would like to try growing food and you don't have a lot of space, or maybe physically you don't have a lot of strength to work in a larger garden consider the green stock garden you can see what they have to offer using my link down below here on the daddy curbs farm i believe that everyone has a story and every story counts i believe your story counts because i believe you count thank you so much for being a part of my story through this video and letting me be a part of yours i'll talk to you soon